people, if you didn't get a chance to see the first two segments, go back and take a look at the first two segments. It'll help you better understand what we're about to talk about right here. Parts one and two, take a look at those and then come back to part three. It's, I guess it's kind of like benching on building community, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Three-part bench. <laughs> Marcy Morris. I don't know if there are people out there that are claiming that, but... Uh... It's a secret. It, it, it's a it's secret their group. little secret that, yeah, they don't have to. <laughs> hey, everybody, Ulysses Butch Slaughter here with the Chester Housing Authority's Building Community online platform to stay connected with the Many, many people who love us all around the world. This is part three of a very special edition of Building Community. Uh, let's see, about two weeks ago, we had an opportunity to make a delivery to one Susie Williams Carter. It was a very special delivery and aided by one Marcy Morris, who is on with us today. Uh, Steve, I wanna talk today about what that experience was like for us. Um, Felt good to me, man. I can think of some highlights. And so maybe maybe what we can do today is talk about some of the highlights. People, if you didn't get a chance to see the first two segments, go back and take a look at the first two segments. It'll help you better understand what we're about to talk about right here. Parts one and two, take a look at those and then come back to part three. It's, I guess it's kind of like benching on building community, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Three-part bench. <laughs> Marcy Morris. I don't know if there are people out there that are claiming that, but uh, <laughs> it's a secret. It, it, it's a it's secret their group. little secret that, yeah, they don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Marcy, thank you so much for, for joining us in this whole um, fantastic journey to deliver a beautiful gift to Miss Susie Williams Carter, the 94 year old sister of one Alexander McClay Williams. Talk to us, Marcy. What was that like? Give me some highlights. What was it like to peel back the the uh, covering and and hand over that that wonderful picture? It felt like a a warm embrace. I was going to say warm welcoming, but it was like a warm embrace from Miss Susie before we actually I. We actually embraced. There's a, a warmth and of energy in her home, and I just felt comfortable immediately. Um, I didn't feel un at ease or worried, or it just felt like this was stepping into a moment of connection and um, and from my perspective, giving her the gift of how I perceived what tragically and brutally happened to her brother, that this was part of a healing and recognition and acknowledgement of the, the, the life and the, the death, the murder of her brother, Alexander. I'll just stop right there because there's a lot to share about it, about the experience. Steve, you were uh, behind the camera a lot, taking pictures and doing some video. What did it look like from your standpoint? Yeah, um, I would echo some of what Marcy already said. Um, you know, when you first enter the home, of someone whose home you've never been to before, and someone you you hardly met, it's a little awkward. Uh, you you feel a little intrusive. Um, but this day, we we got past that real quick, and that's a testament to Susie herself. Um, she's a very welcoming uh, person, and uh, you know a lot of what she talked about during our visit, which wasn't even directly related to her brother, uh, because uh, 
you know, you know, Marcy, there was this great chemistry between you and Susie that uh, just took off instantly. And that caused her to open up and, and talk, uh, talk about a lot of things. And um, uh, just, uh, it, it just all, it made us all feel comfortable and, you know, connected to her. I have a question that, that I'm going to ask all three of us to be prepared to answer. And I wonder if we're all going to have the same answer. What was your favorite moment of our visit? I have, I have an answer. And I just wonder if you all's answer will be my answer. I wish we had one of those old school game show boards where we could all write it down and unveil it at the same time. I had a, I had a favorite moment um, while we were there with her. And um, I just I just felt like, wow, we're supposed to be here. After that moment, I felt like, wow, we, we were supposed to be here. Marcy, I, 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 I think you might say the same thing. Steve, I'm starting to believe you're going to say the same thing as well. Uh oh, Marcy, you changed your mind. You changed my mind. That look right there. Because <laughs> I was thinking of different, different things. <laughs> I'm like, is it that or that? Are we going to start with you, Steve? <laughs> Two, two, two immediately come to my mind, but I don't know wh which ones you, you guys are thinking about. Let's see what you, you got, I, Steve. You're reading each other's minds. Up. I'm, I'm just, I thought maybe we, we were all there, but maybe we're not, because there were so many great moments. Let's hear one mm -hmm. from you, Steve. Oh, I'm first, huh? Okay. Yeah, you're first. Well, um, so we were there for a little while, and uh, Marcy was down on the ground, uh, kneeling next to Susie. Susie was in her big chair there. I couldn't hear everything. I don't think I could hear everything being said between them because you know, they didn't need they, they didn't need to talk that loudly. They were right next to each other. And then suddenly they were touching. Mm. And uh, and I don't know, I'm like, you know, I'm sort of like a camera guy there. I'm like, OK, what's going to happen <laughs> next? And it was just so smooth. My mother and father both said, he couldn't have done it. Favorite moment, Marcy. A favorite moment. I'm, I, so far, I'm batting 0 for 1. <laughs> what happens when you think you know something? My favorite moment was holding, uh, when uh, Miss Susie and I were holding holding hands and we're, 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 connect, we're connected and we're sharing about, um, well, it was basically... She said, you're my, like, you're my sister. I'm like, and you're my sister and I love you and I love you. And it was, she was saying there, there shouldn't be black and white. Basically there shouldn't be se separation between races that God, God created us. And that was that, that beautiful, the unity of what I believe that this world should be too. I'm glad she said that, Marcy, because we all know that it was, in fact, racism played a big role in what happened to her brother. Yeah. And so for her to bring that up made sense. She knows that she lost her brother because a lot of it had to do with his skin color. And so, um, all right, I got to give you all mine. I guess mine is the simplest one. I. I was totally wrong. I misread both of you. Mine was watching you put the painting on the wall, Marcy. I knew you were going to say it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That was yeah. mine because I, I, I remember Steve saying that that had the semblance. We, we saw that thing on the wall and we weren't sure if it was a nail head. And Steve, mm -hmm. you said something like it has the semblance of a nail, but I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> and I kept thinking... If Marcy tries to put that up there and that thing does not stay or it falls, this is going to be awful. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's remnants of it, but... Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> but it's, then... it's Go it's ahead, almost Marcy. like it. It's almost like it just started growing out of all well and appeared. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Susie has something to say about that too. She said it. She said something like it looks like it was made to be there. It looks like it was put there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it was, it's like, it was like a nail was put there. The wall was built around the front. 
Wow. What do you think, Miss Susie? I think it's good. <laughs> we mm. have her line. I'm, I'm going to make sure that we, we play that line in the video. But it went up there so smoothly. And it was beautiful because like the orange wall, something about the orange wall amplified the, the picture. And it was like, it wasn't quite centered over the couch, but it was centered enough that it felt like, wow, that's where that picture belongs. It felt it's like a it wonderful had been, moment. Yeah, it felt like it had been there all along. Like that was that uh, um, magical moment, um, just like a almost like a supernatural moment. I just felt like his spirit is here. He can see what's going. You know, <laughs> Alexander could see what's going on, and it was just like. What just happened?